Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Duly pushes Vivian out John's arrangement bombs folder case fane. Days of Our Lives recap for Thursday, September 21 shows that John Dark and Steve Johnson are in Brady's bar finding a seat at a table and getting up to speed. Steve shares with John, he really wants to talk yet he doesn't say anything. In the end, John found time for the disclosure that the more seasoned man John Doe ended up being his genuine birth father, Timothy Robicho. In the interim, Stephanie Johnson was disturbed as she conversed with Chad Demera on the telephone. He's late and her folks were coming for supper he said he'd send one email and gotten back home Stephanie inquired as to whether she seemed like an irritating housewife. Chad asked was she meeting him at the entryway with a moving pin. All of a sudden, somebody thumped on the entryway of his office at Titan. Chad needed to hang up and it was Vivian Alamein, and he asked her for what good reason would she say she was there. She asked was that a method for conversing with his new chief. Meanwhile, Maggie Kiriakis was drinking tea at Doug and Julie Williams' home, attempting to quiet her nerves. She said thanks to them for letting her visit there. Julie told her she's family, yet had an enrolled letter to give her. It was from Vivian Maggie asked what in the new damnation is this? Still in the lodging in Greece, Theresa Donovan, Jen Lilly, had Victor Kyriakis, John Aniston, metal folder case open and was perusing the letters. Brady Dark, Eric Martzolf, and Alex Kyriakis, Robert Scott Wilson, returned, she immediately set the letters back in the folder case and concealed it. She inquired as to whether they tracked down any leads, and Brady advised her to cut the demonstration they understood what she'd been doing. Theresa said she could make sense of, yet it wasn't what she figured it would be. Alex said the person at the front work area let them know she requested costly food on his MasterCard. D-O-L-L spoilers. Theresa continues to lie. Theresa said it could not have possibly worked out on the off chance that she'd been permitted to accompany them, Brady again said spare the demonstration, she inquired as to whether they had any leads. In the meantime, back at Dove and Julie's, Maggie opened the letter and figured out that Vivian had terminated her from Titan Ventures. In the Titan office, Chad asked Vivian what in blazes she was discussing, and she illuminated her Maggie was out and she is in. She referred to her and Victor's separation never having been concluded, and Chad called Bull, and Vivian again guaranteed the will was obliterated. Back at the Brady bar, John and Steve talked, with John recounting to him the entire story of how Joseph Ringer, otherwise known as Yo Ling, had been in a foxhole with Timothy. Timothy had been hit with shrapnel, causing a horrible mind injury and weeped for help and Ringer had basically exchanged canine labels with him and passed on him to bite the dust. Steve remarked that definite sounds like a Yo Ling move in this way, he messes up your dad's life, until your dad meets you. John says Oak, oh, it's really astonishing Steve said pretty supernatural, and John said his dad is an incredible fellow and he and Doc and the children cherished having him. Steve was glad for him, and John said it's not what he merits, it's what his dad merits as they will cherish him. Steve then required a toast. Back at Stephanie and Chad's, Stephanie gave Kayla some wine Kayla asked where the children were and Stephanie asked where Steve was. Kayla said Steve and John were talking before he came, Stephanie said Chad was held up working. Stephanie wedding Chad. Kayla raised Theresa and said she was delighted to have seen her, and inquired as to whether Stephanie naturally suspected she was pursuing Brady. Stephanie told her she was pursuing Alex now, and Kayla didn't know Stephanie was over Alex. Stephanie said she's focused on Chad. Kayla inquired as to whether that implied assuming she saw herself wedding Chad. In the interim, Chad called Maggie and figured out it was valid about Vivian terminating her, Maggie remarking she was at that point at the workplace, calling her a succubus. Chad is curious as to whether there was whatever he might do, and Maggie advised him to do what he needed to do, he wasn't selling out her by working for Vivian. Maggie advised him to figure out what she's up as well and Chad hung up. He asked Vivian what her vision was, and she was safeguarding Victor's inheritance. Chad said she ought to go to Greece and pick olives, Vivian remarked, extremely amusing. She will get back to Victor's unique vision of selling drugs through Titan, and Chad expected unlawful ones, then he surrendered. Back at Dove and Julie's, Julie said Vivian can't pull off this, she was calling Justin Kyriakis. 
Maddie didn't figure Justin could do anything. There was no will so Vivian was sole successor and had all power, she could fire bored individuals who crossed her. They needed to confront the way that Vivian was presently relentless. In the meantime, back at the bar, John asked Steve how Trip Johnson was holding up with Ava Vitali on the lamb. Steve said he was holding tight, however Rafe Hernandez asked him not to reach out. John realized Steve needed to search for Ava and let him know Brady and Alex were examining Victor's last days, he didn't go on the grounds that he would have rather not been the unnecessary extra person. Back in Greece. Back in Greece, Brady would have rather not uncovered anything to Theresa, not believing her Alex referenced Constantin Melianis, John Kapilos, referencing a letter and the letters at Victor's young life home were absent. Theresa took out the portfolio and recommended perhaps they were in there. Brady needed to know how she got the attaché and she let him know her father gave it to her. Brady inquired as to for what reason didn't she tell them, and sent they ought to open it Theresa halted him, saying it's anything but smart. In the interim, back at the bar Steve, actually conversing with John, is curious as to whether he understood everything that Vivian was doing John said to him about Vivian needing to take all Maggie's legacy. Steve said Vivian was envious and insane, and all at once she strolled up and cautioned John about watching what he says in broad daylight. Back at Stephanie and Chad's place, she told Kayla they quite recently moved in together. Kayla reminded her she moved in with his children as well, and that has an effect. Stephanie said they're excessively youthful for their very own position, Kayla saying they're getting connected to her and Stephanie recognized she's responding. Kayla inquired as to whether marriage wasn't the consistent subsequent stage, Stephanie asking the subsequent stage for herself and Chad or the best deal of her interfering Catholic mother? Kayla said it didn't have anything to do with her Catholicism. She was stressed over the kids would she not like to wed Chad? Stephanie answered obviously, similarly as Chad was entering and putting his head in the entryway. Back in Greece, Theresa let Brady know that Victor believed Maggie should open it, per her father Shane Donovan, Charles Shognessy. Brady concurred and he speculated they were finished and ought to all return home. Alex had checked, and no flights were accessible until tomorrow, and Theresa attempted to follow Brady to his room. Back in Salem, Chad proposed to leave so Stephanie and Kayla could complete their discussion, and Stephanie said that was crazy. Stephanie kept, saying her mother was simply being mother and her father would be there soon. She gave Chad a few wine and asked how his day was. He said it was okay until Vivian appeared. In the meantime, at the bar, Vivian considered John her sweetheart nephew and inquired as to why he never visited her in jail. John told her he hadn't had any desire to, and with that, Steve praised John on finding his actual birth father and left. Vivian inquired as to whether John was shocked over seeing her, yet he definitely realized she was there and that her legacy wasn't great for Maggie. Vivian expressed enough about Maggie and told John she believed him should come work for her. Back at Doug and Julie's, she told Maggie not to stress, she help her figure out how to battle this and meanwhile she ought to keep remaining with her and Doug. Maggie needed to search for her own place however Julie called that garbage, saying grandmother would turn over in her grave in the event that she didn't offer Maggie to remain. The Hortons have consistently stayed together Maggie commented assuming she'd learned Victor had wasted his fortune and had no cash, this present circumstance would have made her snicker. Yet to the extent that Vivian taking all that Victor really buckled down for Brady and Alex just needed to track down something to stop her, they needed to. Back in Greece, Theresa said she scarcely was familiar with Alex, and Brady's snark that never made a difference to her. Alex shielded her, let Brady know that was truly cowardly. Theresa emphasized she and Brady share a kid, they can share a room. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.